Hello, my name is Declan McArdle. I'm an equine specialist with Tagusk, and we're here today in Grange Farm to offer advice and tips on how to video a horse and edit it with a view to marketing it and getting clients through the farm gate. Clients of today, before they're willing to travel, will usually ask the question, do you have a video of your horse? This allows them to get a good idea of what you have to offer before they commit their time and their expense of making a visit to view the animal. Your video will act as their first real look at your horse. So therefore, it's up to sellers to produce the best quality video that they can, to show off the best attributes of their horses, to get potential buyers through the farm gate. In our upcoming sessions, tips will be provided on how to film your horse, with some specific examples for the best locations and what it is that you are trying to present. Later, I'll bring the footage into the computer to show you how easy it is to edit, and then I will show you how to upload to YouTube. I will be working with the easy to use editing program Windows Movie Maker in a set of tutorials. And the good news is it's completely free to download from Microsoft. To record your video, you can do so using an average domestic camcorder. These are widely available at prices ranging from 100 euros upwards, depending on your budget. I would also strongly recommend you invest in a budget range tripod to ensure you get a steady shot. Of course you can record handheld, but the resulting footage will inevitably have some camera shake and won't look at its best even after it is edited. I'm not overly concerned about audio as I will insert music when editing the footage and I will show you how to add music in the final edit. The age and training of your horse will influence what will be shown through the video. For example, if you have a young horse, three years and younger, the prospective buyer will wish to see the open stance, still image can you be utilised to present this, hard surface for movement showing walking, trotting away from and towards the camera, show loose movement preferably in an arena, trot and canter on both reins, if it's a three year old show loose movement and jumping or lunging over a fence. If your horse is broken the basics you need to show are again the open stance and a still image can be utilised to present this, hard surface for movement showing walking away trotting away and towards the camera, ridden under saddle, showing all three paces on both reins. It's recommended the rider wear a hard hat and be tightly clad also. Show clip of jumping a course of fences. If there's footage available from a show, you can incorporate this into the final edit. For eventers, show in the flat, over show jumps and over cross country fences. Other possible shots to include, particularly if you're aiming at the amateur market, are of the horse being loaded, being clipped, being shod, having its feet picked out, standing to be mounted, showing it hacking out the roads with traffic. You may have footage or photographs of the horse out hunting, which can again be incorporated into the final edit. It is very important that the background to the horse is neutral, clean and tidy with no distractions, so that the whole focus is on what the horse is doing and not what is going on in the background. Horses should be turned out impeccably, clean, feet trimmed, mane and tail tidy, mane lying on the offside, or preferably should be plaited. The horse should wear a bridle if aged three years of age and over, otherwise a head collar, again preferably leather. All tack used should be clean and properly fitted. If your facilities don't lend to a suitable filming environment, you can always hire a venue and possibly work with other individuals within your local area who are also selling horses to help you and to share the costs. Before filming, no matter what the location, it is important to work out exactly what is to be filmed and to liaise with your rider and assistants to review the planned route in order you can optimise the positioning of your camera. Whilst here we are concentrating on video, still photography is also a very useful addition. To take a suitable photograph of the horse in open stance, the sequence of legs should be as shown. The background should be a tidy, solid, neutral background, example a wall or a hedge. The horse should be alert, relaxed, with ears pricked forward, or should be in the centre of the photograph, as you can see. It's important when you're showing your horse for sale that you walk away towards, trot away and towards the camera on a hard, preferably level surface. So here we are to show uh, this bay horse walking away from the camera. With the domestic camera, you've got to be very careful that first of all, your objective is to keep the horse in the centre of the frame, that the viewer can see the horse and its movement and keep it in the center. Secondly, you, it takes a lot of practice to work with the, the zoom as it is very sensitive and your zooming in now needs to be very quiet 
and gentle. It's important when videoing again to keep the horse in the centre of the frame. The tripod makes it very easy to keep a steady shot. It's important to show the horse going on both reins. They don't necessarily have to be very long clips but just enough that you get a sense of the horse's way of going. I've chosen this location to video the horse because it allows me to capture the horse coming across the diagonal. So I'm not in the way. I would be in the way if I was standing in the centre of the school. So I can capture the side view coming out in front of the camera. And again, it allows me to show the horse on a circle on both reins and be at an angle that allows to capture the horse showing up, working at his best. There's nothing wrong with moving the camera around the arena, particularly if you feel a certain location will add to what you want to show. Lateral movements that you stand at either end of the school, particularly if you want to show some leg yielding or shoulder in or half pass, that you'd capture that on film by being at the top end of the school. For I don't want to be overly zoomed in because now I capture the horse in full shot as it comes by me. And that's what the really we wanted, the essence of what we wanted to show. So therefore by not over zooming in on the way in, you will see exactly what we want to show. And that is the quality of the, the pace. My camera position captures the horse jumping the course with many side on views. It's very important to know the intended route of horse and rider as it allows you to anticipate when to zoom in and pull back the shot in order to capture the horse over each fence. So we have the horse jumping into water. Again, because I know where the horse is going, I don't over zoom. <laughs> 